In this chapter, we will complete the steps of your IDRIC satellite router installation. Please follow these instructions. Turn on the IDRIC satellite router. The power LED will turn green. Connect an Ethernet cable from the LAN port to the computer. Once the Ethernet cable is connected to the computer, Check to see if the modem is allocating an IP address to the computer. The IP address is sent by the modem DHCP. If not, you will need to configure it manually. Do this by navigating to Control Panel, Network and Internet, Network Connections. Right-click the Local Area Connection button and under the Networking tab, Select Internet Protocol Version 4 and press the Properties button. Fill in the default gateway IP address and make sure to configure the next IP address in the subnet. Next, we will need to configure the satellite router by using the browser. You might recognize this as a similar process to standard modems like the Netgear and D-Link modems. The default credentials for the X1 satellite router are as follows. Username, admin. Password, iDirect. In the main dashboard section, you can view the general information details of the satellite router. In the Status section, you can view the Satellite Router status. Whenever the Satellite Router is connected to the network, it will indicate In Network, and the Status LED will be solid green. Important details shown include the MAC address, software version, and the downlink center frequency. In the Ethernet status section, you can view the connection, transmitter, and receiver details. Additionally, you will find the current IP configuration. You can also check the input-output packets for errors and or traffic changes. In the IP configuration section, you can view the LAN interface, management interface, DHCP, and DNS details. Additionally, you will be able to observe the IP configuration, IP and subnet mask, as well as the management IP. The DHCP and DNS's configuration are also shown. Note that you will only be able to change the configuration after the options file has been loaded. This will be done later on in this procedure. In the remote events and SATCOM graph sections, you can view the log details. The remote events section shows the complete details including downtimes and uptimes, the RX SNR of the modem, TX power, TX frequency offset, and clock adjustment. The SATCOM graph section shows you the following signal statuses to assist in determining the quality of signal RX SNR, TX power, and TX frequency offset. The commissioning section includes efficient tools for the alignment of the antenna, such as the angle calculator. You can type your geolocation, latitude and longitude, 
and the satellite location, spacecraft position, which can be calculated at dishpointer.com. This will calculate the elevation and azimuth angles that the technicians should use. The antenna pointing section is similar to the pointing tool in the EyeSight application used for the X3, 3100 and 5100 modems. At this point, the antenna should be aligned to the correct angles so that you can use this tool to maximize the RX signal by referencing the graphic indicator. In addition to this, there is an option to attach a voltmeter to the TX cable to measure the satellite signal while pointing the dish. This will be possible by connecting it to a voltmeter and turning on the TXPWN voltage button. Under the cross polarization section, we will be able to bring up a carrier wave signal in order to do the peak and pull procedure with the SkyVision team and the satellite company. You will need to insert the uplink frequency as well as the local oscillator frequency. When everything is filled in, select the Start button to start the transmission of the carrier wave signal. At this point, you will need to download the remote package from the following link. Make sure to capitalize the D in iDirect. Download the version as stated in the email sent to you by your SkyVision TAC coordinator. To load the remote package and the options file, do the following. Select Admin, File Management, Load Package, and Load Options File. Just press on the Browse buttons and load the package and or the options file from your computer that you previously saved. In the Console Interface section, you will notice that the syntax is a bit different for the X1 than the X3 and 3100 and 5100 satellite routers, but all the functionality is the same. Use the help command to view all commands available. Once all the approvals for the new link are received, a SkyVision TAC coordinator will send the first suggested time slot for the activation of the SkyVision service. When activation has been completed in the suggested time slot, please send confirmation of the schedule to the TAC coordinator with the name and contact information of the technician. If the activation must be completed at a later or earlier stage than the suggested scheduled time, please contact the TAC coordinator with a convenient time for the activation schedule. You will receive either a confirmation email or an alternative time slot email from SkyVision.